Hello, and welcome to Let's Play Jamestown. I'm your host, Flip. Um, so this is a bullet hell game that you can buy on Steam. I got it in the Humble Bundle for very cheap, but the Humble Bundle is over. Sad face. Uh, we will be playing all the levels on Legendary, I think. No, Divine. Divine. Because that's the only one I've actually done it on. Um, I need to check one thing for the story. Yep, okay. Putting, uh, we're doing this in farce mode, which means that the story is funny instead of, you know, not funny. And also incomprehensible if you play it in not farce mode. I have no idea. I have, well, I, I don't think you will understand what's going on in farce mode either. But anyways, um, I'm cheating a little bit in the fact that running this with fraps severely lowers my frame rates. Um, which makes it a hell of a lot easier to dodge. So that's, you know, a joy. Have you ever heard of Mars? I bet you have. I bet some of you have an aunt or an uncle who lives there. Some of you may have even been there on a vacation. Did you know that there weren't always people like us on Mars? A long, long time ago, the only people who lived on Mars were Martians. Ancient Martians like to build things. No one is sure why. Have you ever met a Martian? They look kind of funny, don't they? But remember, Martians are people too. It's not polite to laugh. Unless they tell you a joke. It's okay to laugh at jokes. Did you know that the first English colony on Mars disappeared without a trace? No one knows what happened to it. It's a mystery. Let's solve that mystery together. And thus begins Jamestown, Chapter 1, War Upon the East Frontier in which a settlement is ravaged by betentacled Martians loyal to the Spanish, and a villain appears! Uh, by the way, profanity warning, I will be cursing quite a lot during this game. Dodging, I, I seem to dodge better when I am, you know, cursing. Uh, although this first level is probably not too bad. It'll only get worse. So as you can see, we're this red ship. I always pick the charge ship uh, ever since I got it because I think it is awesome in the fact that you can shoot from one place and then go to another place and still do damage. Um, that's what that big gigantic red ball is. Um, I'm not going for any points or anything awesome. I'm just trying to, you know, survive. And this, this bit, like, recording it does make the game go really slow. Like, right now I'm getting about 24 frames per second, where usually I'd get, like, 50. And it's designed to run at, like, 50 and not 30. I wish there was some way I could change that, but there's not. Without making the video look utterly crap on YouTube. Because I could, I could make it in half mode, I think, on traps or something. Um, but yeah, it would be terrible. Anyways, big blue ship shooting blue crap at my face. I don't like you. Oh god, I don't like you guys either. Okie dokie, tricky bit. Stop shooting at me, you stupid things. Okay, I don't like these guys. These, this thing must die. There you see my giant red orb. God. Okay. Yeah, dodge. And dodge. Oh god, I didn't. Okay, and. Wah! Charge, die, death. Okay, you may notice that bar on the top left, that is our vaunt bar, which is basically like a shield that destroys all the bullets. Uh, and I would be playing on judgment mode if it weren't for the fact that sometimes they shoot bullets uh, that are green, and green bullets do not are not vauntable. You also get double points while you're in vaunt mode, which I care nothing about. Die, thank you. Uh, points are not something I really care about in this game. I care more about survival. Stupid hoppers, die. Uh, if you notice when I killed that thing that jumped in the air, it said special. If you kill an enemy in a specific way, sometimes it's special. It gives you double points and more gold face majiggers. Die. Ah, uh, dodge, 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 dodge. Okay. Yes, I do not like you, hoppers. Nope. Ah! shoot you guys while I have the chance. 
quickly get over here to shoot this monstrosity that is shooting bullets at me, which I don't like. Okay, we're gonna try and... yes. I lost all that money, I don't care about points, it doesn't matter. The only time I'll try and actively go for money is if I have vaunted and I don't have any vaunt left. Okay, final vaunt. Whoosh, see? This is what it does. Those 200s are all bullets that they're trying to shoot at me, but they're not. And then you keep your vaunt up by getting gold, and it doubles your score up here, as you can see. Uh, you can also vaunt again, which produces like a little small shield around you, uh, while, after you've vaunted once. And then there's a certain amount of time after your first vaunt, that, uh, or after your second one, in which you cannot gain more vaunt. I don't know. I don't like saying that word anymore. It's become weird. Okay, give me stuff. Yes, money, 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 money. Uh, dodge my way over here. Playing this in judgment mode is really weird. Like, you'll be dodging stuff you didn't even know was trying to kill you. Oh, you're leaving? Okay, fine. You can leave. Do -do -do. And I think... Oh, yeah, these guys. Divine Combo! I don't really care about achievements in this game either, as I do not care about achievements in any game. Death, please. Thank you. Vaunt. And now we face the first boss. The Traitor Prince. Overmind to the Martian Rebel Forces. He's pretty easy. Not too difficult. And fire that. As with any game, there's always, like, the bosses that you hate and the bosses that you don't. Uh, he is not one of the bosses that I hate. Oh god. Yep. Should have vaunted there. Sometimes I don't think about it. Stupid margins. Okay, dodge, dodge, dodge. Give me this. Okay. This is a pretty easy thing to dodge. Just left. And right. And then left. Of course, in full speed, this is like doosh, 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 doosh. And it's very difficult. Uh, but I have beat this level on Judgment. I have not beat any other level on Judgment. Uh, I, in fact, I don't even know if I really want to try. And if I do try, I am totally turning on Fraps so I can cheat. How are you going to do that, eh? Meow, I don't care. I don't like that, uh, that attack he does. Because it does that! Oh god. They all chase you and it's not good. I don't know how those things changed direction and came back, but they did. And he should be dead soon. Vaunt! Behold! First boss eliminated. We lost one life, I believe? Yeah, one life. Fire my magic bullet! And our final score. Will we get to five stars? Probably not. Nope. But we got our local best. Henceforth, you shall be known as the credit saver. Whatever that means. I guess, oh, because I didn't use any credits, probably. Alright, let's get to the next part of the story, and then move on to uh, the next level. Once upon a time, there was a man named Sir Walter Raleigh. Some people called him Wally Raleigh but never to his face. One day, Wally decided to go to Jamestown. He had heard good things about Jamestown, the place where everyone had good times. But not everything in Jamestown was very was good times. Not good times at all. Not at all. A man named John Smith told Wally that the Spanish were attacking, and he didn't know why. Wally was angry. Have you ever been angry? Like when your mom told you you had to take a time out when you didn't do anything wrong? Wally was as angry as that, and more. Wally was going to give the Spanish a time out. Uh, I'm pretty sure we are actually playing as Wally, and then um, John Smith is another character or something. Anyways, that'll be it for this first episode of Let's Play Jamestown. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, and soon more Jamestown, where we get to harder levels. 
There's only six levels in the game, so it's not too bad. One, two, three, or five levels. So it's going to be a pretty short LP for this. Um, but it'll, I hope it'll be fun. See you guys next time. Goodbye.